shield. For example, uh, now I see your shield, the, mm -hmm. the God of War. Yes. Maybe the next year or so, two years ago, maybe one God of War. Could be. <laughs> Can't say. But um, next year we'll see great uh, 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 exclusive titles like Bloodborne from our friends at, at From Software. Um, we have The Order, 1886, which the guys showed downstairs coming out uh, in the next couple of months. Uh, and of course, MLB, the only the only place you can play baseball is on the PlayStation 4. Yes. So, um, those titles and a bunch of titles for the holiday, including Uncharted 4 next year, means 2015 is going to be a huge year for PlayStation. Yes. The fight in this comes. No? Now, uh, for example, Microsoft uh, mm -hmm. cut the, the cost of the console. Uh, how do you see the, 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 these fights in the scones well, in the next weeks for Christmas, maybe? On well, holidays? I mean, last week we had this thing we do in America called Black Friday, where all products, not just gaming products, all products are racing to the marketplace. Um, some of them discount very heavily. Yes. Um, we didn't do that. We, uh, we added more value and put more benefit. We had a great bundle opportunity with Grand Theft Auto and a great bundle opportunity with The Last of Us. So um, we look at uh, what customers want from us uh, is, is more valued and, and, and great games. Yes. Uh, Sony have uh, problems in the division of smartphones, tablets, and television. Mm -hmm. But in this division, PlayStation, it's very great. It's successful. Uh, what is the future in, in, in this division, in PlayStation? for PlayStation, I'll tell you, is, um, as you said earlier, we're focusing ourselves on who is our fan, yes. what do they want, and it's games, great games, and great experiences. Um, I think the best thing that the PlayStation division um, can do, uh, not only to execute our plans, but to benefit the entire Sony group, is to continue to excel in bringing the gaming message to more people around the world. Okay. In your perspective, what, what needs to change Sony? I think Sony is going through a type of transition phase. I think a couple of years ago, if you were at CES here in Vegas, um, you heard our group CEO, Kaz Hirai, talking about the, um, the new foundation layers for uh, the Sony group. It's going to be around gaming and network. Yes. It's going to be around tablet and mobile. And it's going to be around digital imaging, which is our very successful camera business. Not only big cameras, but a camera chip. Um, and the entertainment blocks, Sony Music and Sony Pictures. It's the entertainment experience where I think Sony is going to, is focusing its future on, and uh, PlayStation will play a big part in that. Yes. Um, now, uh, what needs to change PlayStation for a uh, grow, more grow, more? Uh, well, we have, to, we have to continue to execute and yes. uh, move forward. I think um, one thing that we, we're taking very seriously inside of PlayStation right now is to keep our focus on who is our core fan what is it they want. Um, we can never lose sight of how we need to continue to appeal and attract and bring in um, new fans to PlayStation. And that plan has worked for us really well in 2014, and we're going to do more of that in 2015. Yes. Finally, Sean, uh, what is your favorite game in the history of PlayStation? My favorite game in the history of PlayStation? Uh, God, there's so many. It's, it's, yeah. it's, very, it's very difficult to say. Um, but probably one of my favorite games is Gran Turismo, the racing yeah. game. I love yeah. that game. Yeah, yeah. Okay. fantastic. Polar Green does a great, uh, a, a great, it is the real driving simulator. And I love that game. Perfect. Sean, thank you very much for Paul, the interview. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you.